Today I want to talk a little bit about an old hobby that I've gone back to, which is scrapbooking. Since the birth of my son, I restarted doing layouts. Uh, it's a way for me to showcase the images by adding some embellishments and different textured papers and uh, stickers. So I quite like it. You don't really much to start making scrapbooking layouts. You just need a couple basic stuff. Uh, one thing you need is, of course, a photo album or a notebook or a binder. I personally like using presentation books. Uh, the reason is that I quite like this A4 size. Also, I can customize. I should customize this cover because I'm actually done with this one. Um, and now you need some papers and additional stickers and things. Like for this one, it starts with the, the birth of my son. And then goes all the way up to, let's see, some further layouts from around when he's like six months, seven months old. And one thing I use a lot is my trusty guillotine i use this to cut all the photos and also the backing papers for the main papers i tend to use this like off-white grape a4 paper and for the the design papers i have these different sets like one set is uh, this one where I have like basically every color in a couple of different designs I also have one that's like more um, months themed and since my handwriting isn't so great I mostly use these um, alphabet stamps and I use them with small dye inks that I get from uh, Memento I like the small ones because they cost less so for the same amount of money I can actually buy two or three different colors and another main thing I use is a photo sticker splits they're called so these are like a small square cut double-sided tapes that I use and to stick the this design paper onto my main backing paper I use a tape roller so let's get to the design so every month I select my favorite photos then organize them in uh, smaller images depending on the size I want and then cut them up with my trusty guillotine this way for each layout I have one usually larger image and a couple smaller ones and they fit better in the A4 layout and then I organize them by event chronologically so that I know which ones to use. So for my birthday layout I'm using the English paper company's berry line. It has a pink yellow tone to it and as the main backing, I'm using one of the pink papers and dividing it into two so that the two sides of my layout line up with each other. And behind my photos, I'm using uh, corresponding yellower papers so that they pop on top of the pink. And to stick my photos onto the backing, I'm using the photo splits. And I will be using the glue tape to tape the, the paper onto the backing A4. Normally, I don't use this many images in my layouts. But for my birthday, I just couldn't give up on any of the photos. So, uh, it was a little of a struggle in order to fit all of them into one single layout. So, you see there are like five images in this one and the corresponding page will have even more and normally I always cut with my guillotine but sometimes if I'm using a bigger paper then I cut it with scissors and to make the lettering I'm using my stamps and my memento ink pad so let's see I have turned 35 and it's not easy to accept but anyways, 
and so by sticking all of these I'm actually done with the first side and now I move on to the second side of the layout I'm basically doing the same exact thing as the first side I did but since I'm using an A4 binder I quite like to line up my layouts and if possible uh, divide my photos from one event into two sides and for this one as I mentioned I selected more photos than I normally would so it was a little struggle to make them all fit into my layout I ended up having to crop some of the images so that with the backing paper they would still line up and fit into the A4 but even though there are more photos than I would have normally used, I still quite like the end result that I got. And I ended up using most of the, the berry line I had and actually used some of the scraps to make sure that I had enough for one of the photos. So I'm almost done with this page and I'm just adding the final backing paper and I'm using the other pink because these images will sit on top of the, the grey directly so I don't need to have um, the yellow behind them, rather have the pink so that they match the, the middle section of my layout. So I'm almost done with this page, I'm just sticking the images onto the backing paper and I quite like the result that I received and this is going to be the first page or first layout of my new binder so I'm quite happy how it's going to be starting. <laughs> 